This summer I've come to the beautiful Canary Islands with my girlfriend to take a break from the hustle and bustle of living in London. But what is it that makes this place so good for looking at fish? First of all, Fuerteventura has tons of fish. If you decide to walk along the coastline in a commercial port like Coralejo, you'll see sea bream and pampano absolutely everywhere. The water will be brimming with them. And when it's low tide, if you come somewhere like this, where there are loads and loads of rock pools, you might see some goby. I wouldn't be surprised if you'd see loads of crab, and if you're really lucky, you might even see a blenny. But aside from the fact that there's loads of sea life to see, what makes Fuerteventura and the rest of the Canary Islands, like Lanzarote, which is just over there, so incredible, is the diversity of life that you can find here by just looking in the water. Because of Fuerteventura's position in the world, about 23 degrees above the equator, you can find loads of tropical fish here. But as well as that, you can find fish that swim down from the Mediterranean and fish that are carried from the North Atlantic by the cold Canarian Sea currents. And it's because of these currents that the water around the Canary Islands are teeming with life. When the cold currents mix with the tropical water surrounding the Canary Islands, the nutrients carried by the cold water mix into the water column. And this allows an incredible number of fish to live here, as well as making the climate absolutely lovely. But honestly, the only way to get a glimpse of how beautifully diverse the waters around these islands are is to go snorkeling, dive, or do what we did by hopping in a submarine. The coasts around here are an underwater garden, except that isn't seagrass, those are garden eels. This is a truly unique part of the world. What? Apologies for that guys, I'm filming as I said by some rock pools and a little crab just came out and started tickling my foot <laughs> um, So I got a tiny bit distracted But what I was saying is that this honestly has been a really amazing experience to get to go somewhere that's as unique as the Canary Islands to study animals that I really really care about Now I've loved studying plants at Kew all summer but it's lovely to get back in my element and get to spend some time looking at the species which made me really fall in love with biology basically anything that lives out there. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe to my channel or just give it a like. It's up to you. I'll be making a lot more videos as I go back to uni about what it's like to be studying at uni and about the kind of stuff that I love studying, which is a bit like this, I guess. Anyway, I hope you had an incredible summer and I'll see you guys really, really soon. Ta-ra!